Hello everyone, and welcome back- Whoa, my camera fell! No! Wait. Close enough. What's up guys, it's me, Jayblader. Welcome back to another stream here on the channel. If you don't know, I stream Minecraft and other games. Been on a Minecraft kick recently as of 2024. I try to stream every single day. It is the early, early morning because my sleep schedule is screwed of uh, February 20th. We're almost out of February already, which is crazy. February flew by and has not been as productive of me as January, but it has been fine. Altogether, it's been fine. So I hope you've had a good, productive February. Um, Today, we are going to work on the paper mill some more. If you're new, make sure you check out my YouTube and stuff, my TikTok. Um, and if you're curious how we got into this beautiful world, I stream all of the Minecraft stuff here on the regular. Uh, and you can watch all of the VODs on my, um, on my channel. So if you uh, want to see how we got to stuff, you'll be able to hop on there and figure it out. All right, okie dokie, enough spieling. Let's get to work. So I'm actually going to hop in a Discord call with a few of my friends that are just up playing some games and uh, see if they want to talk about anything to fill the background because what we're doing, more or less, is picking up where we left off last time. You can see I worked on this just a little bit. Um, and I set up like an item elevator here. So if we cut down a tree, the items are going to be picked up and item elevated up here where they will be item sorted. Um, this is so we don't lose any items. It makes this thing a little bit more lossless in all senses of the word. And I think it'll be a nice addition. I also switched out the floor to st some stone variants because it felt more like a factory floor, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to be setting this up today. And getting this cooking. Hey there, Rose. Thanks for hopping in chat. Um, we're going to be working on this part today. The other rails have got to go in. So I'm going to hop in Discord with my friends here shortly and see if they want to talk about anything um, while we're working on this. But if you have any questions or want to talk about something specific, feel free to put it in chat. And I would love to talk about it. I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. Let's see where we were at with this so we got the I got the dark oak set up here so if we hop up here you'll see the redstone I got going on yeah so we got the dark oak here wood goes in here leaves go in here and the saplings go in here so this stuff is all going to be sorted hey Rose thanks for the follow items are coming up here they're going to be item you know pushed into here and then nudged along to be item sorted and this is kind of where we are continuing with today. So let's go ahead and work on this part. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the Discord, see what the other friends are up to. That I thought, like, would fucking send me into the fucking, um, like, like, that would basically give me everything I needed, you know? Like, I, mm -hmm. I, I studied with, like, one of the best horn players, a very good teacher also not even like he's not just like good he's like also an excellent teacher and i i was in this program for like a year that that uh that it was like me and a dozen people that that uh it was like also during covid i don't know like i i just don't i don't know like i um they're I talking think about I, I one really of my friends haven't went to school. found either and this either is a serious I just, discussion so i'm gonna not say too, anything I, you know i don't think i'm lazy either also like for a while i thought i was just lazy and mm -hmm. and and um like didn't real really right want to like work super hard or not work super hard but like like i don't know i feel a little bad uh airing this if he doesn't want to talk doesn't want people to talk about it but that's one of my friends that uh kind of talking about his life a little bit okay we're gonna extend this down let's place these here placing stairs so that we can still open the chest over top of them 
Okay. For Music Day, we're listening to the Stardew Valley soundtrack. If you guys know me, it's one of my favorites. Okay, so this will sort all the items we've gotten here so far. Let's do one of those. And let's get some of the other things going here. So we're going to have a water source here. I'm going to push the items along. We'll need an ice block here. Oops. Ice block. That there. Another water source. Same dealio. Oops, not there. There. Ooh. Okay. That's alright. This is coming together. So I worked a little bit on this off stream. You'll see that I added some like fence gates and stuff. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I might do something like this all the way around. It might look nice. I'm going to join back in Discord when they're not talking about kind of more serious topics. I enjoy the serious discussions, but again, I don't really want to air out stuff that he may not want to talk about. That's totally fine. Just don't out of respect. Okay, let's place some more stone brick up here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And I haven't figured out what we're going to do for like the walls of this building yet. But I did have some ideas for some stuff that I thought could be cool. And it's going to involve deep slate, I think. One of those blocks that I don't think is too hard to get, so we should be able to get it. Place this here. Some of the other wood blocks for the decoration. I changed this part slightly. Something more like this. like all the way there they seem to still be talking about serious stuff I've got their call and open in the other monitor and I'm eyeballing it I think you know speak a little bit to what they're talking about. I, I doubt anyone will watch the bot or is watching or anything, but I have, I feel like a lot of people feel like they uh, kind of reach a failure point or a peak point and stuff doesn't work out. And that's just an unfortunate part of growing and moving forward sometimes. And it's never easy. Definitely not easy whole lot I can add to it, unfortunately. I think if you want something bad enough, you can get pretty close most of the time, but it is definitely a hard thing to do. I think the hardest part is seeing people that, I won't say don't deserve it, but seem to work for it less and get it easier. That's, I think, something always hard to see or hard to deal with. At least for me, it's been hard to see people work way less at stuff and just get given stuff that I've had to bust my butt for and still not get it. So I'm not sure where my friend was going with that, but that's something I know I have. If he's, that's where he's going with it. That's really hard. Join back. 
Uh, look at what a French horn is. I think you'll you'll know that. I think you don't know Paul. Oh, is it's it, oh, is it, is like it's like a trumpet kind of thing. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's you could compare it to a trumpet for for simple. Closer to a trumpet than a bike horn, yeah. I actually don't mm. know what a French horn does, so I. I... Mm. Or like. It, it, it looks like spaghetti. That's just technically in a different category because they're like rotary valves and not like piston How valves. Do you... I mean, there are, there are rotary trumpets. Uh, Europeans use rotary trumpets. There are rotary trumpets, that is true. I think it has to do with the way the harmonics are, are like, what specifies it as a horn. What but do you mean? I, like, I, I think, like, it, all the brass it, instruments in the traditional, like, A horn are, is are called a horn way. because of its shape. It's a conic, or... It's a, like the conical shape that it fucking the flare, the flare, yeah. That's why trumpets are like you. Like what of... differentiates a trumpet to a bugle is that the bugle can only, not, uh, yeah, the bugle can only do the harmonics, and the trumpet has valves. Right. Yes. So I think the horn, the trumpet, all the rest of the, like the brass instruments are all kind of in the same family, or all the valve instruments at least. We need to get uh, a professor high, in here. High level, uh, yeah. high level horn discussion. Um, mm, it's like a, it's like a side note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I well, asked a question. I bet. But yeah, I yeah. think um, I don't know. I think it's also a lot of like like trauma from childhood. You know, like I, I think I really am like like have some some level of depression. Um, and like. And I don't know, like, it's hard for me to, um, like, I don't know. <sighs> what was your question again, Ruben? I, I, I want to make What do you think is holding you back in life? Hmm. This okay. is a deep conversation. What is holding me? I mean, at this moment... Women. No, I'm joking. Honestly, like, I don't think I could date. I... Because... After, uh, after everything that happened with Malik... I didn't really explain, actually. I only talked to Clutch, I think, a little bit about... No, did I talk to Clutch? Did you talked to me? Talk like, you talked to me about, like, a little bit. me about what exactly happened. Um... I didn't say exactly what happened, but, like... I just get too much anxiety. Like, I... I, I get... I, like, overthink, like to the fucking max like i i think my brain and i never forget anything like it really like i i feel like i have such a good memory when it comes to um to romantic encounters no actually no like i overall i just have a really good memory i think and um or i mean <laughs> to to pe like it's not like never mind i'm not gonna explain why i think that but but basically like i i literally can and when i overthink it gives me anxiety and it stresses me out and like little things will start to bother me and and um I feel not that. to say like the, it, it was all me i do think melina also has like some issues with um like one thing she would always do is she would constantly think that i um that I was like mad at her or something, or like that I had like like ill intent toward her, you know, for for some reason. When I I've never I don't think I've ever expressed. I mean, for sure, like there are some things that could be seen that way. I, I could definitely understand, but like I've never like personally felt like like mad at her or something. Yeah. You know? Or actually, no, that's a lie. But um, <laughs> not not in the not in the ways that yeah, she yeah. Was, in the scenarios that she was talking about. Um, Wait, was she actually into you or no? Like I, I remember you being actually like, what? I remember you being like, oh yeah, like she wasn't actually into me, and then like you go uh, like. She straight up, oh my god, so she straight up told me that um, like the reason she didn't want to hang out with me is because we we have um. We have very good chemistry, and because she's, also because she's she's my manager, like for sure, okay. like I understand, I understand the manager part, like kind of kind of getting 
like like she doesn't want to compromise his job. Like she needs to yeah. his job, you know, like and so so I was like, okay, like and that honestly that would annoy me though, because it's like like why why even like I try, you know? Like why why even like kind of get things get the ball rolling when when that's like that's already a deal breaker, you know? Um but anyways, so so like she straight up told me like the reason that like she never like wanted to hang or not never wanted to hang out with me because there were plenty of times that she like we were we did hang out or we were going to hang out and it just didn't happen and she she said she didn't want to like lead me on because like we have like a very good chemistry um to the point where yeah like if we did keep hanging out then something would happen you know and so like i mean what, whatever the fuck I mean I, I know what she's saying but it's just like I mean that doesn't make me feel any better yeah it's, it's a little it's a little weird and so yeah like you were gonna make her act up mm-hmm. <laughs> you know that's a really good way to put it actually um, <laughs> but um I don't know like I I think like and it's like I'm never I never seek out relationships because I know ever anymore at least because I know I know how I get and I know how I am. But I thought it'd be a little different with Melina because like like the way the way things were at work before um, before I told her were like it, it really felt like we we're like like hitting it off you know to yeah. to, to some extent. Um, and so Adam said I don't hate chase these bitches. They come to me. Yeah. For them. I and overall like I I think for one no more dating at work like no no more yeah, like I've, ever again it's hard it's not worth it it's not worth the risk yeah I've been there too Wait, yeah. what did you date at work Jamie? Oh, I'm streaming I don't like this um <laughs> I'll tell you off stream <laughs> okay, okay. what <laughs> you think that she's gonna find this? She's gonna find <laughs> she's that Jade Blader is live on yeah. Twitch. There, there's a yeah, non. There's the there is a chance. Is there is a chance. And that one viewer is me. <laughs> there is a chance. Here, I'll just message you. Okay. There's no way, J- JB. Just say it, please. Uh, JB. They have a. J- I'll just. We'll, I'll just call them. Um. I'll just call them Stephanie, for the sake of. It okay, doesn't matter Stephanie. what their name is. But I worked with Stephanie. Wait, when was this? Uh, 2020. Maybe can I ask you um, a ago. personal question? Yeah, sure, go for it. So, have you ever had sex before? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was this, was this one of those kind of relationships? Like, where. I mean, it was, you... it was very serious, yes. Oh, okay. You... All right. That that is all. I was just curious. <laughs> now he knows or what? There was stuff happening for sure. I was trying to get the like. That gave, me, that gave me the energy to to queue for another rank game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't like uh... that. Um. Oh yeah, but continue. What what happened with Stephanie? Oh, you want me to elaborate? Well, now that, that she's no, I don't want to know how you like fucked her or something, but I, I want to like what what oh. was the work situation? Um, it was it was just awkward. I I think there was a lot of kind of things happening where you were ha- kind of like what you were going on, what you were going on about. I think there was a lot of really complicated stuff happening. I think I was kind of emotionally ready, and then she was like really not emotionally ready. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then so. Yeah compound like i feel like we only ever went out because we worked together and it was like during covid so we both just needed someone to like deal with things and so covid for me was not really difficult because it wasn't much different than what i would normally do anyway yeah um for her it was like catastrophic because she was very social so there was after and then like after covid it was like so like i was her social during COVID, yeah, yeah, and sure. then and then like, I was like a, a, I was I was helpful and it was mutual like it was fine, but it was just that after COVID, 
or towards the near end of it i think we just kind of drifted apart and i think she needed to do a lot of self-discovery about what she she i think felt like a failure a lot in life because she was like living with her parents and didn't oh, have the job yeah. that she wanted and all this stuff right and i was just happy to be like have a job after college she was a little older than me so it was we were in like different places in our lives too so i think there was just a lot of complications to it but no yeah, that... like no hard feelings just i think working together made it happen and then it compounded stress on top of it which just yeah. wasn't wasn't great like if we weren't working together i don't think it it would have happened not to say that was bad it was just like it just compounded having to see them and having to like the, the yeah. relationship gets more complicated there's new dynamics yeah i like i don't know like if i don't know i don't know like i, I don't know either I, I don't know i don't know you know workplace I'd be, I think I'd be down to, like, fuck a co-worker, but I wouldn't <laughs> be down to, to try to date one. Because, like, fucking is, like, there's no, there's not a whole lot of emotion. Uh, I mean, there's, it depends uh, on the like, person. emotion. To, yeah. yeah. For some sure, people cannot have sex without feeling like you're the one for them. And some people can do it and then forget about it. It's just depends on the person. I think, you know, I don't know if I would actually be able to separate that because I've only had sex with one person. I think and it's. I, think I, I, was very I much personally like, think it's hard. Like into them. Um, sex is not intimacy. It's just unfun. It, it's just. I it's think so. Un, it's it's physically unenjoyable for me. Oh. I I don't know. I I think I. <laughs> I think I could enjoy it was was one of my current coworkers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Adam. We found the dog in All you. Right. <laughs> okay. Thing is fucking Miss Cassidy's got it going on. <laughs> I, mean, I, think, oh I mean, theoretically, God. right? But I understand what you're saying. I don't not think stuff like that, but it's just I also like I don't want to be like I realize it all feels good in your mind, right? Does it? Well, like it's like it's easy to think about things going really well in your, in your oh, head, you know? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you start dealing with real-life dynamics and stuff, and it gets complicated. Yeah, I, overall, I probably wouldn't wouldn't try. I, for one, I'm not going to initiate anything anymore. Like, I'm not, like, even if I think, like, if it's not fed to me on a silver platter, I'm not fucking taking it, you know? I think this is so hard. I think it's a hard thing to do as a man, though, right? Like, that's like a, what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? Like, like, I think as a guy, you're supposed to be the one initiating in general, right? So. No, yeah, but oh, I mean, I it, I it, 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 it depends on a I'm lot of factors. Seeking, I, I've come to realize I'm not seeking, like, anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Why? Can we get a conversation about um, how the men have to initiate it afterwards? I don't know if this I is mean, a conversation I really want to take. I, I mean, it, it just, it kind of is what it is, right? Really. I don't fuck with that. I think it's changing. Should I play surfing soda? I'm not going to say Should if it's for it? the better or what, but I feel like I, mean, I feel like no, there are more more women that are that are openly like taking the ball in their own court, so to say, right? I mean, no, w w women are fucking LeBron James 6 foot 9 in front of the fucking net. Like blocked by James. Like that that's what women are. I don't know what you're saying right now. I'm not okay. endorsing it. You don't know ball. You just you just don't know ball. I apparently don't, don't just know don't know ball. ball. I, like, I literally don't ball. know both. I literally don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I, I've had success initiating and not initiating, so I can't really say either way. Maybe maybe it's a California thing. I don't know. What? That, that, Adam, uh, Adam, what would you say? That people, like... You, that they don't want to initiate the, with you or something? That people don't want to initiate with you? Or think with you or no. Think like, they, they, they... Like, um... I feel like... I, not like with me specifically, but like I, I feel like I, I feel like I never see it happen the other way. You never see women initiate. It happens all the time. I think it depends. You're, you're young. Like a, you're it's young. It's like a cultural. It's also a cultural dynamic. Yeah, a lot of it. I think well, number one, number two. Wait, wait, what? Sorry, my, my I, brain. I think I think women get a little older and it, their priorities change. Mm -hmm. oh, I think sure. like eighteen year olds have yeah. no need to be be forward with guys i think 30 year olds a little different do you know anybody who's like really hot right? 
Like, like huh? guys. No, no, not, not, not like a girl. Like, do you know any Do I know any guys? really hot guys? Yes. You cannot say Wait, yourself. Okay. We um, know what you look like. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so sad. God, I'm, just, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was joking. So I was joking. You're an attractive Everybody man. Everybody unfollow the stream. No, right you're now. an attractive Sorry, man. You're an attractive man. I'm joking. No, it's over. <laughs> no, not my viewers. Bro, they're leaving. Bro, I just lost four. No, I'm joking. <laughs> But like, yeah, yes, I, I do know some, um, some Tra good looking guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So like, it, I think it's, it's like a Pareto distribution, right? Like if you, if you want to get, if you, if you don't initiate, you have to be like, it's like getting a job, right? It's like if you if you don't want to initiate, you have to be like really hot. You have to be headhunted. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like if you're if you're like like insanely cracked, like you you can't. It, it does work sometimes, right? But uh, if you're not insanely cracked, you your choices are either become insanely cracked or just. Force opportunities for you to show. Be exactly. Cracked. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's just kind of the way it is, I think. But you don't I think it, it depends when, what point you... I think the age thing matters a lot, too. Um, Honestly, in, in my experience, older, like, when wait, people are older, their priorities change and their, their outlooks in life change a lot. Their options are fewer. <laughs> they get a little more desperate. <laughs> it depends. Well, that's also a cultural thing there, right? I yeah, think, it can be. I think that... that the, that happens more to more people who want more traditional lifestyles, I guess. Like both men and women yeah. versus like. So I don't know. Hey, what do I know? I ain't no psychologist, you know. I was just trying to get trying to get opinions here. Yeah, to... Hey, I don't. I'm just. I'm just letting you know what I think. Uh, Are you watching my stream, Ruben? You're, you're powering up. Yeah, I'm watching your stream. Uh, what, do you think, what, do you think of, what? Okay. What do you think of my? What do you think of my wood farm, bro? It's pretty chill. I like it. It's not it's automated good. yet. You got TNT or put a wood in no, there? No, I, I don't think I'm gonna do that here. That sounds a little dangerous, close to my yeah. base. That sounds like a great way to destroy my my base, but. This is just a designated area to farm stuff, mm -hmm. I guess. And How it like get... it does auto sort the items and stuff. I think I fucked up. What happened? I did the quest out of order in track three. And now I'm locked out of one of the elf pages that I need. Ah oh, shit. Okay, time to go back forty hours. There is actually one time sensitive quest. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I finally got to uh, Act Four. Like it, I it actually took thirty days. God oh, damn, the Queen. Fuck. Yeah, the I think it's a random timer. I think it, was, it can be no, a week or it, it can be thirty days. Oh, well, maybe I don't know. But it, mine shit took thirty days. So I was like, what the fuck is going mine, on? I remember when I first did it, it took like three weeks. But, I, but when I looked it up, it said it can happen in a week. They have to be ready for it in a week. If you're waiting for it. Wait, but did you enter the... Dude, the inventory here is so bad. There's soul sand in one of these chests. I, I think I've hit the point in life where I'm progression locked until I get married. Progression locked? Yeah. By, by, as far as like, what your ambitions are? Well, like, in general, like, I feel like in terms of like fitting into society or whatever. Oh, okay. I don't feel I, like you I, fit in as a single single bachelor. I know zero people. Like I know a bunch of people in real life. I know zero people who aren't in the committed shit. What really? Yeah, I I know zero other single people in real life. Okay. Like, like do you think and, most people, like every, most every, people around my, no, I know, I know a lot of people that aren't, people. yeah, I can't really say that, I, I know a lot of people that aren't, but. 
Maybe I'll just hang out with losers. That was a joke, by the way. All right, no laughs. Got him. I mean... Wait, Nila has two dashes? What? Yeah, she has two dashes. What are you playing? Playing Pike. Oh. I would stream, but I have my cam on. Well, what proportion of your, fr of your friends would you say are? For single? Yeah. I don't have a lot of friends my age, so let me... Give me a minute and let me break break down in my head real quick. Probably like two. Two percent. Honestly, I'm I'd say pretty like a I would say like a quarter of them. Yeah. That's not bad. That's like a that's like reasonable amount. I'd say. Yeah. Apparently you have to do this area before I resync them or it's locked. That's crazy. Where the hell's the entrance to this thing? Entrance to what? I'm trying to find something in this game. Oh, there it is. I found it. Ugh. Finally. Dude, I'm. I really feel like I'm hit so good at hitting pike hooks now. Like, people will just always dodge, like, like down. And even when they don't, like, I, I still like, I calibrate. You doing pike to pike to pike a diamond, maybe? Honestly, I, I, I don't know about diamond, but I think I could get pretty, pretty high emerald. Yeah, they did. I fucking have three void grubs. Well, you'll be with the void grubs. Like, I like void grubs. They're all right. They're not game breaking. I think it's nice to have something to play for, for topside. I think it makes the game a little more dynamic. A little bit. Barely. If you were a void grub, which void grub would you be? I'd be the one in the top. Top, Probably the uh, back right one. Top left for sure. These are real uh, questions. Keep them coming. What's special about the back left? If one? you were a worm, would would you love your girlfriend? <laughs> I'm joking. If you were a worm, would you would you crawl inside? Inside. That's crazy. <laughs> would you investigate? Okay, look at Columbo worm. You got cool. You ever watch Columbo hooping? Did I watch what? Columbo. I don't know what that is. I Wumbo, you um, Wumbo, me, she, he, Wumbo. Top Thumbology, the study of Wumbo. Peter Fogg. Never, never watched Columbo. No, I don't know what that is. It's like a, like an old detective series. That's a kind of good in. I was wondering, I was like, why is why are they so much higher level than us? But I forgot about Neela's passive. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the... I think I'm actually just fucked, Ruben. I have to get the, the elven note from the molten scar uh -huh. to get all the notes for the secret ending. And I can't get this one because the guy's gone because I did everything from first. Just go back. I have to do all of Irie's Sanctum again. Yeah, well. It is what it is. If, if, if that's your main goal for the run, then you got it, right? Yeah. 
What if you just go into the files and give it to yourself? No, but I want the achievement. Oh. Well. You're cooked, buddy. Yep. This so Can't. fucked up, actually. What, man? Come on. Fuck, she ulted. Or go back. I gotta pop her back, do I have to go? I mean, I, I had just finished Ivory Sanctum, so it's actually... Well, I have to go back two dungeons. Yeah, that's fine. It's not fine, but it, I mean, it sucks, but... It's not fine at all, that's fucked up. Put him in the news. Put him in the news. I still have to finish Gate. I'm deleting all my saves right now, so I can't fucking go back on myself. I'm gonna regret this a lot because Ivory Sanctum was really fucking hard on core. Yeah. I struggled through that last. Not the the fucking swarm rooms. I don't have any fucking AOE at all on my team. The swarms were what? fucking my shit. I only barely got through it because uh, oh, fucking. Oh my god. Denver had just enough uh, AOE to give me like. No my nose. Secret. What do I have to do in Baldur's Gate 3 anyway? What else do you have to do? IRL. Like, got him. IRL progression wise? Yeah. Why are you just talking about that? Um. There is some work stuff I need to do, but. It's more, more variable, I guess. You know where these stuff and some things out where. Um, you have like random projects to do. Trying to trying to buy these uh, random coffee baskets from China. Most URL URL progression. Um, I just be cooling. Bro. Be be more chill. We were just starting with finish a year of college. We we'll go from yeah. there. Did you get your classes? Yeah, I did. I got all of them. No. Luckily, I, I make a lot of saves in this game. Actually, I dropped 108. Which one was 108? Um, abstract mathematics. Oh, wait, why? And I took, um, engineering problem solving. Okay. So I didn't have three math classes. If you get what I mean. Uh. Oh no. I'm restreaming. I feel like I feel like you should really should take 108 as early as possible. You know if you want to drop the major or not. Yeah, that is the reason that you, uh, oh it's because it didn't fit into my schedule either. Oh, like I, I had to ch I had to change the 8 a I had to change the 8 a.m. math because it got filled. So I, see. I have I have like a a possible shitty teacher maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see based on my own judgment, but um, yeah. So um, that's what happened. And then yeah, cause like the only, like the the second best teacher or whatever was uh at nine, and that's when the 108 was. So Makes I had sense. to I had to um sacrifice. Talking about sacrifices, I, I went into Baldur's Gate 3 and I remember what I was doing. I had to, um, I had to sacrifice the, the best scene in the game for fucking rank consistency. Oh. What is that? Uh, the scene where Astarian leaves your party after you refuse to do his quest. <laughs> oh, 
always fucking hate Astarian. Uh, I mean, it, it's not really hate Astarian, it, the scene just goes hard. Like, he stabs the guy like 30 billion oh, times. With the, with or fucking yeah, yeah, with, like, with Kazador, yeah, yeah. right? And you're, you see, like, stabs the guy and he's like, fuck you, I hope you fucking die in a road somewhere and you fucking leave. You did it with Astarian or without? Uh, with Astarian. You take you take him there and you're like I you refuse to, to do the ritual and he, he leaves your party. Coming in news. Coming in news. How you feel about Playboy Cardi? Eh, he's alright. Playboy Cardi's just alright. Yeah, Playboy Cardi is just alright. He's just He's, he's just all right, I guess. Yeah, he, he, why am I even say Loki Min? What? That's crazy. I probably Play would say that. I would agree, actually. I don't, I don't think they would cry all that. But... <laughs> it's fun to, to, to meme about being opium. I'm like, I don't know that. There are some, there are some sites I like, but uh, I don't know. I don't think he's like the next second. Like, yeah. So you ain't really opium. You just you you think everything a game. You, you think everything a game. That shit. That that's crazy. Yeah, I do actually. You think everything a game. You sound like drunk when you say that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. What is happening? He's off the perks. Whatever you're off of, try to get back on this immediately. Um, off the perks means that he, he he's on he's on them. He's he, he he's spitting off the perks like oh, I see. like yeah, 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 yeah. oh oh it's because like because of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. sorry my my slang's not there these days. I'm working on it. Oh, I have to do the stupid Raphael quest. Raphael yeah, quest. The only good fight in the whole game. To find Dribbles the Clown. Yeah, we, we found that out on our run. Best fight in the game, for real. It sounds sarcastic. No, I is unironically the, the only, like, it's the only interesting fight in the entire, or... The At rest of the entire run. game is, like, trivially easy. <laughs> and Raphael's uh, whole encounter is actually a little bit difficult. So when we had to retry like three times. Who's not returning this guy's gold? Who's we? I have to do this the wizard. I have to fight that wizard. Oh, uh, Larokin. Larokin. Did you end up silent, silent with Aelin or? or... I did. You can get Aelin to, like... I think the yeah. only way to fight him is to have Aelin also fight him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of carry. I remember doing the fight at level 8, and I or starting the fight at level 8, and I got one shot by one of those elementals. Oh, I decided to do it later. They're not elementals. The Mermidians, my bad. It matters because of the... You, you can cast, uh... Uh, it's one of those cleric spells that's like banished celestial or something that works on them but doesn't work on elementals. Yeah, the. Well, whatever they are. One attack from them, one shot my character's level 8, so. It really was hard to actually, like, legitimately kind of hard doing the fights a little late. But now they're gonna turn me on. Oh, the only taste of wrath you're gonna get in, in Baldur's Gate is Raphael's house. <laughs> Yo, but, but a little, little hint. I didn't even get there anyway. You actually have to accept the shit. Like, you had no. You have to go to a place called the Devil's Fee. It's in the like, north. Oh yeah, of the I, know, I know where it is. Go to the Devil's Fee, talk to the lady, and she'll give you the stuff for the ritual. Oh, 
obviously. Well, go upstairs in that same building and you can, the portal is there once you do the ritual. The ritual is really annoying, but it's like, you have to like, it's like a demon summoning circle. You have to put like items on the specific spots. That does sound really annoying actually. It, it comes with an instruction book, but I recommend looking up a chart. I have maybe, I guess, 20 hours left or something, man. Um, I'm, I think maybe I'm overestimating. It depends on how, uh, how much cheese you want to do in the, in the final act. I see. Man. I forgot to. Yeah, I'm fucking this sorry, and I'm running. Whatever. You know what this actually means, though. What? I can I can actually do Ivory Sanctum properly prepared for once. <laughs> fuck me. If I had like if I had wasn't such a fuckface and actually brought like restoration scrolls, I'd be fine. I need uh I need Ember to uh, learn a fucking useful spell. Oh, oops. Dude, Lemon was the greatest character ever. Rest in peace, Lemon. Don't even want to put the Baldur's Gate, man. Fuck. It's actually a really good game. Like, I can't, I can't even be mad. Like, it kind of fucking slaps. I think it's really cool it, uh, how you can just kind of fucking kill whoever you want in that game. I agree. I tried attacking one of the people in in Dresden and it and it, it let me attack them but it just did no damage. <laughs> no in that game literally every NPC in the game is killable. To an extent. A lot of them if you try to fight them they'll look like and teleport away. Every single party member is killable too, I think. Baldur's Gate speedrun, you really just do the the Gale origin. 
and oh, like, and just uh, blow. <laughs> it's it's yeah. so based. Wait, you do the what? Huh? You start as Gale and then you blow up an act two. Oh. I forgot how exactly you do it, but like there's a certain sequence you can put in that teleports you to the cave. So like all you have to do is get through the prologue and then keep yourself to that cave and blow yourself up. Is that just mm. GG if you do that? Yep, that's like that's one of the endings you can get that pulls up the credit screen and everything. It's like the any percent run. Mm. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I did, and then I was like, nah, this is cringe. Wait, what was? Or actually, I've never played the game. It probably wouldn't make sense. So basically, there you can end the game a whole act early with a fucking GG button. But that's kind of cringe because I want to play the rest of the game. What the GG button? It's like a nuclear esque option. I think is what they're saying. Quite literally. He literally fucking Hiroshima's. I like imagine like a, like in like a random like like Pokemon game, the fucking bad guy shows up at the beginning of the game and he's like, haha. -ha, I'm just gonna you kill you. Never yeah. beat me, and then you just press a nuke button while he's in the room. And the, the game's just over. I see. I mean, my goal was to finish one game, so technically I could have. That was actually a game over condition. I mean, instead of fighting, fucking. Oh my god, I can't. Finishing fighting means that. Oh, whatever. How my much longer could the game be? Once you get both the stones. I, I have them. Have, you're looking at like two more longer as worth of content. Okay. Depending on how much you did already. Like, uh, I, I would consider going to Raphael's house necessary. Okay. It actually impacts the ending of the game. I see. Almost everything else is literally skippable. Yeah, I'll just blow it again so they know and I'll log the rest and then do it. Right another day. The last, uh, like the final area of the game, uh, can take a really long time or it could be very quick. I see. Warlock, hmm. you can literally skip through a lot of the game, the final act. I have some. I have Minthor. Warlock, if you have anybody with Dimension Door. Oh, I see. All right, I, uh, I got Gale. Yeah. That's interesting. I have the boots too. I always wondered, like, when stuff like that just really break a universe, like. Dimension Door. Well, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you're in a perilous or teleport stuff like that. Isn't it a little, um, isn't it a little breaking? Game the breaking? way that Wrath of the Righteous does it is whenever you're in an area that teleporting would be really convenient. Mm -hmm. It hits you with, uh, there are fucking mystical dark energies in this room. Right. <laughs> teleporting is impossible. Right. In that game, uh, the things that would break the game that you could, because of teleportation, they just allow that to happen. Right. In Baldur's Gate, you can just break the game whenever you want. Like, this is like. Anything random to you? Like, can you push the big bads off a cliff and kill them? Yes. <laughs> I guess that makes the game, like, I mean, entertaining like, in its why own are we sense. Fucking still. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like Skyrim. Like, the, a lot of the fun is just finding random garbage you can do in the game. <laughs> Items are moving too fast. Can you do the whole romantic. Like sex scene, like cutscene, while you're transforming into like a fucking bear. Yes. Right. Like.
Maybe Shade Game was really his cringe, though. I, I, I really come to realize this. Wait, you're saying finishing a game is too cringe? Yeah. Mm, well, I understand. What's cringe about it? Uh, it's like I, I gotta come back to work tomorrow. Yeah, I like a. Alright. Here I am again. More games just need to be shorter. No, no, no. Okay, what the fuck is this? First complaining about having too much content. I do that all yeah. the time. I kind of agree. Some they, I feel like they load games with like almost too much content now. How am I supposed to actually experience it all and still like live? I, I like that game. This fucking a lot of shit's content. impossible. I think simple games exist. If you, want, if you don't want to play simple simple game, play a simple game. That's why I played Chill Aquarium. That's why I 100% Chill Aquarium, bro. And you have the right to do that. I didn't say I wanted a simple game. I said I wanted a game without a lot of content. <laughs> like League is a, League is not a simple game, but it doesn't have a lot of content. I don't know. I like. I like. I feel like. Have you ever heard of? Um, if you like content in a game, you should check out this game called um, Genshin Impact. I mean, it's it's like a price to it's like a per, like bang for your buck type of situation. Have you ever heard of Genshin I Impact? I paid fifteen dollars for Wrath of the Righteous and got more fucking entertainment out of those fifteen dollars than like almost anything else. Yeah, the yeah, entertainment sure. to dollar for Wrath of the Righteous is insane. Yeah, it's it's like go watch a movie for for three hours or buy Wrath of the you Righteous. See the, you the know? movie? The movie is like I I, I spent ten bucks and, I, and I'm like you know what? I, I saw this movie. And Experience. It was, it was pretty... Yeah, I went I went to go see Madame Web and those kind of ads. But the problem but is like, I'm poor. I can't, like, I can't throw away done, $10. Right? I have to make my $10 go very far. In those situations, like the, the Skyrims or the fucking Boulders Gates of the world. Very good value. Like Minecraft, the pretty good value my too. Gameplay is my, my old... Modded like my Minecraft old mini games. Big value. I mean, to this day, Minecraft is the only game that I can remember. Or two, there's one or two games. That I I think I, I give the fucking purgatory seal of approval. Where if you were stuck in purgatory, like a fucking endless demi plane, but you had one game to entertain yourself with for one hundred thousand years, the only one I could think of is Minecraft. And and what else? City skylines. I feel like um. Mm. I mean, Minecraft makes sense because it, you're just like a creator. Like you could create. Because like, of the way redstone works, you can build a computer. If you had a hundred thousand years, you could make whatever game you wanted within Minecraft. What's up, guys? Today I'm building Pac-Man in Minecraft. Where wither skeletons are ghosts. You have a hundred thousand years. You could make Wrath of the Righteous in Minecraft. And that would only take you like the first like maybe a thousand years. <laughs> and then you play Path of the Righteous. Yeah, then you That's beat another then you like thousand years. The game within the game. <laughs> I, I can't think of another game that you could play for 100,000 years. I mean, you could play any game for that long, but like... No, I mean like... The depth And of not it. finish it, type right. sort of thing, you know, like... For a... Rather right, just giant, huge fucking content game. I think I'd be able to see all the content in this game within like five years if I played it consistently. So what are you doing for the other fucking, like, 99,000 years? If it's the only thing you had to do in the demi plane, well, like life doesn't work like that. The thing, right? If I can 
Clint does not have the fucking demi demi plane challenge. But I apply the demi plane philosophy here, right? Like. Yeah, but this it's just, just not applicable. This is just hypothetical. Right, right, right. But it, 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 it's like a really useless, like, like a particularly useless well, hypothetical. I don't have money Most to buy a lot of games, so I have to get games that give me a lot of value. Engine impact, waste of time. Mm, I wouldn't say waste of time, I would say like... I'd say waste of time, and I played it. Hmm. It's an enjoyable waste of time, but it's a waste of time. I, I don't know, I, I, like, the game's free, you know? Yeah, but what skills have you enlightened? Well, what skills have you enlightened by playing fucking Minecraft? Wrath of the Righteous? Uh, okay. or... Well, I didn't say you would gain skills from that. Yeah, exactly, that, that, that's irrelevant. That, that's not a good point, yeah, I don't think so. We play video games to fuck off. We don't, we don't, we don't. No, I'm learning right now. I'm learning design, shape, dynamics, color theory. I'm learning right now. Okay, lame ass. <laughs> and I'm running into a big bitch. <laughs> Are these... <laughs> Are these <laughs> things you knew, though? Yeah, right. basically. I'm just practicing them. Ooh. I'm learning them. Uh, uh. Uh. I am rectangular. Uh. I don't have enough fucking caustic mold to make more spire ball scrolls. I'm livid. You see, the only thing Nenio is useful for is she can make scrolls. We really should have side with Lurik, fucking Lurik, yeah, but whatever. You should stream Baldur's Gate every minute if you're playing. <laughs> ah. ah. Feel it in my bones. Ah. Do I have the stomach to go back in the ivory seat? <laughs> I need to do- I need to do another dungeon first, but the only other one is black water. Oh. Uh, oh no. You know what? No. We stall. We go do Wolgib's companion <laughs> Ruben, look at that. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? Mm. Which song? Real. Alright, I'm going to finish my stream and head out. Y'all have a good one. Alright, it's getting late. I'm going to stream for a little bit longer. So stick around if you're interested. But I did want to leave the call. I was a little tired. And am a little tired. Um, the... So the parts we're doing here, if if you were paying attention while we were talking there, I think we got a little bit of a problem here with items being picked up too slowly because they were feeding in from two different sources, which is a problem, technically. The solution is we're going to have to either add a minecart unloader um, or we're going to have to add more hoppers to that line. I think in the long run, a minecart unloader is going to be better which means that we may have to change these to minecart unloaders instead of just having hoppers run back and forth. Um, we might just extend the hoppers, but the first thing I wanna do is get all of these, let's see, we finished these three. So I've got one, two, three, four more to do to connect to the water stream. And as you saw, the items are coming down here and there also is some skipping happening. You can see right here, we got some skipping. Um, not a huge deal. It's because items are clumping and then moving too fast. Uh, there are some easy ways to fix it. The easiest way I think to fix it is going to be to just have the items loop around in this kind of closed system. 
um, but you still we're we're gonna basically have a constant feed of items coming up here out of these out of these farms we can come over here you know chop down cut down everything and sit back and wait everything will be collected we replant instantly by the time the trees are grown again or if we bone meal them then we'll be able to go added some spruce pillars to this let's try to get the rest of the stuff kind of going in today's stream um they were talking about boulders gate that is a game that i i want to play at some point i own it have not played it yet so it's on the to playlist faux show we are going to play it at some point Alrighty then let's grab some items we're going to need i'm going to need to make more droppers and hoppers i believe we're going to need a water bucket we're going to need that Let's do the next one here. Okay, so we've done the yellow one. Let's go ahead and do the orange guy here. We're close to having, like I said, we're close to having to get more items. Um, so maybe we should just go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Probably could have made that with two rockets. That's okay. The iron farm has been juicing some iron. So we can grab this. This will be enough for some more hoppers. A glass roof on this building would look really cool. Now that I think about it. Okay. Enough distractions. Let's dump some of this stuff. Some more chests for hoppers. Okay, this is gonna be like a stack of hoppers. This should last us a little bit. Let's go ahead and go and place all the hoppers we gotta place. So we're gonna have to place. I don't have droppers yet, is the problem, but it's fine. This layer, dropper here. Shoot, we're gonna have to break you. Oh, well, well, that's gonna go into the system. It's okay. do that maybe it'll make it go a little faster if we do that i don't have redstone items on me but we're gonna have a redstone hopper dropper the thingy there okay same dealio here one two three Oh, I did one too many here. That'll be fine. What? Am I am I am I goofing here? Oh, I see what I did. No, that is correct. Push this wall out here. Kind of like that. Okay. This wall is going to end up going. This one is done. Pop through here. Figured if I leave the call, I'll be able to focus and knock this thing out a little bit faster. Right, 
don't want to work on this project for too many streams in a row, so I want to make some solid progress. in here helps a lot. Okay, let's see. It should be here, here. Can I not dig one here? Let's go get the droppers. I'm gonna have to go craft some more. Let's go craft some more droppers and... I'm running out of redstone. Might have to do some mining off camera tomorrow. I got someone here. ton right now. 18's perfectly fine. Let's go get these puppies in place. This one's done, right? No, it's not. Okay. Right there. Oops. Wanted. Awesome. And water bucket. Okay, put that there. Same deal here. Dropper. No. Give me that back. Cool. Oh yeah, there's one more, and it's right here. There we go. Let's go down here. Drop out this layer. Point our hoppers in there. stone area. And then we can clean this up. This is the water stream side. Like that. Perfect. Place that there. That. Now we're gonna need to place some packed ice there. Packed ice here. And here. So 
items can flow through. Oops. No. Okay. Like that. This is a pretty simple operation. our soul sand. Shouldn't need hoppers anymore. But we need these. And I need to craft some torches so we have some lighting down here. Do I have jack-o'-lanterns? Surely I got jack-o'-lanterns somewhere, right? Bucket of puffer fish. Nothing else interesting. Get some jack o' lanterns. I'll just use these. Okay, let's do the water streams next. So if we go down here, place this, do the kelp, go down here and break it, it'll shoot us up. Bam. Uh, let me see if I can find my spruce trap doors if I had some. I probably did. I'm probably gonna have to craft some more. I'm really, oh, right there. I'm really bad about. Keeping the inventory clean while we're working on stuff like this. A little bit harder than you may think. Let's place all these in. It's gonna go through the system, but it doesn't matter. Soul sand and kelp. Okay. Push these out. Yeah, I should have been doing it like this, but when we were talking, it was like so distracting to actually get stuff done productively and uh, get this done in a speedy way, you know? Punch me up, brother. There it is. Nope. Okay. Water streams are done. We just gotta do the redstone. Beautiful. Let's hop down here. Make sure the redstone on this one, I believe, is done. Yep, it is. Oh no. Short piece of stone. Oh, that is gonna annoy me. stony bits here. Just a really simple comparator. It's gonna just see if there's an item in there, and if so, it's gonna fire. Easy enough, right? And of course, gonna be knocking out some of this later. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, no. That's fine. Let's place our jack-o'-lantern for lighting. Do our redstone. Perfect. Next one. Just make sure that's always pointing into a block, or else things won't be powered. Okay. Same thing on this side. Lighting. Block, block, block. There we go. Okay. Now we can s make sure it's looking good and we can get the rails in here. So all those are going to be spitting items now. And to make sure it's looking good in rails, I need to go grab my redstone blocks. Oh, it's raining. No. So we can put away some of this stuff. This redstone is done. We can grab our redstone blocks. I'm probably going to need a few more. We're going to need to hop our minecarts so we can craft those. I'm actually 
actually just gonna take a crafting bench with me. Actually, I'm not done crafting yet. Let's see. Put this stuff away. Don't need glass anymore. Don't need that. We're gonna need more rails. for decoration. Okay. Let's, let's get it functional and then I'll do some of the decoration even though I kind of want to do that now. But. Okay, let's see here. These three are working, these are not. So I'm gonna punch this out. Might run out of powered rails. Two, three, four, five. Normal rails. Placing them by placing them on top of that block. side. Getting these to line up is probably going to be a problem. Yep. Uh, like that. And like that. Perfect. Cool. Sneeze. Did it again. Oh no. Okay, I wanted to pick that up before the system ate it. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's stand here and make sure we got everything. I missed a few blocks, didn't I? Yep. Okay, that looks right. I missed a block here. Alright. Load up our minecart hoppers and send those out. There we go. Another one down. are going to run out of powered rails. Which means that's the next farm we gotta do is a gold farm. It's not one of my favorites, but it must be done. Oops, why don't you do that? I want to do this. Dang it. The powered rails. Okay. Rails. Okay, I think that's all functional. Looks right to me. Since 
Send some items up. Dang it. It's dark in here now. Um, okay. Ah! Everything got eaten. This is a big build. <laughs> I didn't know when I started, I didn't know how daunting this build would be, but this is a big freaking build. It's crazy. All right, there's all the blocks. They got eaten. in here so no spooky spawnies spawn. We're just doing this to make everything look a little bit nicer in here. always change this stuff later but I think it looks just a little nicer and then we need two more minecart hoppers here I think this part will be done we'll get the tests what am I missing here I'm missing something Down the wrong one. There is jungle trees here. Okay, those are starting to pick up stuff. I think. I don't think I'm missing anything here. Everything's running. The only thing I didn't do is clean up that side. You can see I didn't. I think indenting it adds a lot. Maybe adding a light source would be cool. It would be, I think, like, final goal would be really cool to get leaf blocks in all of this. Or to do, like, an 8-bit design or something would be really cool. But for now, I think this is totally suffice for a tree farming area. stuff don't need on me and we will plant it up and give it a shot yeah we need to make uh, to make item frames let me go see if I've got item frames so we're gonna need to mark off all the stuff I could like stand up there, but apparently not. Bump. 
gonna have to extend it. We got two. Remember, we got two more wood types I want to sort. Um, I'm not gonna do mangrove wood here. It's just too hard to collect in this type of farm. We're gonna have to do a specific farm for mangrove at some point. Just how it works. Oak leaves. Dark oak leaves. Dark oak sapling. Log. Log. Sapling. I don't have any oak logs. These are apples, I think. I'm gonna remember I'm putting this in here. <laughs> Y'all hold me accountable for where I'm putting my stuff. Otherwise I will forget. I gotta start sorting this stuff. Bad. Pretty bad. Sapling. Birch. Sapling is in the end. Leaf. How many birch logs? Okay, acacia. Sapling on the end. Nope, give me that. such a better way to sort the wood stuff. Way, way, way better way to sort the wood stuff. And I'll be able to get specific leaves and stuff for specific builds and yeah, it's gonna be I think this is gonna be a huge time saver. Massive time saver. Oh, I need Chopin too. I had um, other saplings here, but I don't know where they went. I've lost them. Okay, let's swap out those. Yeah. Alright, we need this thing another test run. Do I have dark oak saplings here somewhere? Surely I do, right? In one of these chests, I have dark oak saplings. There it is, saplings. Oh yeah, I have tons of dark oak saplings. I'm gonna add some chests with saplings down here too so that we can always have those in easy access. Maybe like a... Maybe like a... Maybe like a barrel would work well. Let's try that out. some of these, grab some barrels. I'll just make a ton of them. I hate it when I do that, dude. I do that so often. Oh my gosh, I do that so often. I 
miss, miss like shift click the item I want. I'm ashamed to admit how often I do that. Okay, so like, what if we change this out and like dark oak? This row is dark oak usually. This row is whatever you know. Shift click these out. I know I'm only changing one of them, but I think it'll be fine. Down some trees real quick. Got a spruce one growing. Beautiful. Let's break it and leave it. And everything is going to get sorted. Oh, that's so nice. We should start to see some items coming up. Yep. Oh, we're not sorting sticks. No sticks. Um, we definitely want to sort sort sticks because we just I just end up using them all the time, you know. Oh, I didn't finish this. Okay, we can finish that. Gotta grab some of these, maybe. Get some water. Trapdoors. 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 Trap trap water sources. Yeah, that's all I need. Maybe if I have any ice at all, the items go too fast. Which one is the saplings? There it is. Okay. Mm, nope, still goes too fast, and I don't even have ice there. Should we sort sticks instead of apples? I should probably just make a spot for sticks, and we should just sort both. <laughs> Everything seems to be working. I think the biggest problem right now is just going to be, like, how do you get saplings back? Like, I'm breaking it, how am I replanting it? There's no, like, kind of automated way to do that, though. I don't think. I think you have to manually place saplings. So the only thing I can do is, like, if I have a place where I can just easy access the saplings. That's really the only thing I can do. Oh, this is satisfying to watch, though. This is fun. We're still getting jungle wood coming in. So I guess you could load your inventory with saplings and then just constantly be rotating, cutting down logs. I guess that's the angle. I think that's the angle. So maybe... I'm wondering if there's... There might be... We might add another walkway in between these so that you can... Uh, so that you can like hop and just constantly be running back and forth. It would make maybe it not lossless, but that might be fine. That might be fine. 
we did like a s sitting standing trapdoor or something or like chains then none of the not many of the items would get caught which would be good interesting ideas if you guys have any suggestions let me know we'll continue this tomorrow we're out of powered rail so maybe we'll gold farm tomorrow but this has been a fun little project i've never built anything like this um not that it's like hard or anything it's just i rarely build these types of builds like the big kind of over the top tree like this is could we have just left this area flat and farm trees manually manually it's like yeah you could have but i think it is fun to have a designated area and a little bit of redstone to make everything kind of tied together i think it's nice well guys thank you so much for tuning into today's stream and watching it was an enjoyable one had some good chats with my friends and um had a blast playing here in the hardcore survival world thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you next time take care guys